Welcome to Electron Online. In this example, we're going to take a sphere, and I've only drawn the top half of the sphere, but the sphere is defined by the equation x squared plus y squared plus, plus z squared is equal to 1. And then we also have a plane. The plane is x equals 2 thirds, which means the plane is parallel to the yz plane and 2 thirds of the unit in front of the origin in a positive direction. Now you can see that that plane will intersect the circle, or I should say the sphere, and that will cause a circle to be formed. The circle then would be the intersection between the plane and the sphere. Now assume that you move along that circle, the intersection between the plane and the sphere. So we have an intersection between the equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 1 and the equation x equals 2 thirds. This is a sphere, there's the plane, they intersect, causing a circle to exist. We're now going to move along that intersection, and the question is, how fast is z changing when passing the point p equals 2 thirds for x, 1 third for y, and 2 thirds for z? So that's the question, how fast is, the how fast is z changing when we move along the circle and we pass at that exact point? In other words, we pass at a point x equals 2 thirds, which makes sense because you have to be on the plane, y equals 1 third, which is 1 third to the right of the origin, z equals 2 thirds, which is up 2 thirds. So the plane, the point would be probably somewhere in this neighborhood. So when you pass that point right there, that's the point P as you're going around the circle. How fast is the changing? Well, what we're going to do, and of course we have to do that with respect to x when y is constant and with respect to y when x is constant. So let's take the partial derivative of z with respect to x. Now if we're going to do that, we have to rewrite the equation. We have to write the equation as follows. Uh, z is going to be a function of x and y, which means that z is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared minus y squared. So now we take the derivative of that with respect to x, which is equal to 1 half, times the 1 minus x squared minus y squared to the 1 half minus 1, which is minus 1 half, times the partial derivative of what's inside with respect to x, which would mean minus 2x, and this therefore is equal to minus x divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared minus y squared. Now we're going to take the partial derivative of that function with respect to, to y. The partial of z with respect to y is equal to 1 half times 1 minus x squared minus y squared to the minus 1 half times the partial derivative of what's inside with respect to y, which is minus 2y, and therefore this becomes minus y divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared minus y squared. What we need to do next is we need to plug in the values. So now we can evaluate the change in z with respect to x and the change in z with respect to y. When we plug in these values, because we want to know what, what the change in z is when we're at that particular location. So the partial of z with respect to x is equal to, and of course we're going to plug in the values for x and y, 2 thirds for x, 1 third for y, and this is going to be equal to minus x, now x is going to be 2 thirds, so it's minus 2 thirds, divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared, which is 2 thirds squared, that would be 4 ninths, minus y squared, which is 1 third squared, which is 1 ninth. So this becomes equal to minus 2 thirds, divided by the square root of, that's 1 minus 5 ninths, which is 4 ninths, which is equal to minus 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds, and minus 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds is equal to minus 1. So that means that the rate of change of z with respect to the variable x, when y is constant, it is equal to a negative 1. If I now take the partial of z with respect to y, and I plug in the values for x and y, this is 2 thirds and 1 third for x and y, that is going to be equal to minus 1 third, because I'm plugging in 1 third here for y, divided by the square root of, the denominator is going to look exactly the same, 
that would be 4 ninths and minus 1 ninth, which means this is equal to minus a third divided by the square root of 4 over 9, which is equal to minus 1 third divided by 2 thirds, which is equal to minus 1 half. So that's the rate of change of z with respect to y as x remains constant. And so that's what we're doing here. We're trying to find how fast z is changing when passing that particular point with respect to the variable x when y is constant and with respect to the variable y when x is constant. And those are the solutions. And that's how it's done.